What's up YouTube? It's your boy Nash here. Welcome back to the channel. Now before we get started with today's video, the road to 200 subs has now come to a close. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we are now on the road to 500 subs. Who knows, maybe we might hit 500 subs by the end of the year. Only time will tell. But as I have said in previous videos, if this channel does get to 500 subs, I will open up this Korean LOB booster box in its entirety on the channel that I got from my partners over at Collector Store. So be sure to check them out. Link and address will be in the description below. By checking them out, not only does it support them, it also supports the channel and I would greatly appreciate it. <clears throat> Excuse me. On the hopes to potentially pull a Blue Eyes White Dragon, a Dark Magician, a Red Eyes Black Dragon, a Piece of Exodia, Monster Reborn, Pot of Greed, the possibilities are out there. However, if this channel gets to a thousand subs, I will open up this first edition Toon Chaos box in its entirety on the channel that I also got from my partners at, at Collector Store. On the hopes to, to potentially pull a collector's rare out of this set but it wouldn't be the first time that i pulled a collector's rare because i also pulled this freshly pulled out of my genesis impact box opening that i did a few months back is a collector's rare beat cup from the underworld this thing looks absolutely beautiful the centering on the back is a bit off from top to bottom but honestly it really honestly it really doesn't doesn't make much of a damn this thing has the potential to be a PSA 10 but with that being said if you guys want to see those boxes get opened maybe you guys want more episodes of WWE's biggest issue maybe you guys want more episodes of Yukio's biggest issue deck profiles card discussions WWE topic videos or maybe just maybe you guys want some premium live event predictions and results well if you guys want all of that and more my channel is the place to be, so if you guys are new to the channel, and I know that a lot of you guys are, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, smash that thumbs up button on this video, and as always, make sure you guys are following me on all of my social media. My ads will be in the description below, as will the info to my fan mail. It'll also be in the description as well. And I want you guys to post in the comments below answering answering the question of the day which ties into today's video which is this what are you guys thoughts on the on the aroma archetype and do you get, and do you guys believe that the deck will ever be meta let me know down in the in the comments below because for today's video we're going to be talking about the brand about the new aroma support that will be in phantom nightmare i know that cyber knight had just had just did a I guess a sort of like a pre-release opening of the of the OCG version of it. So there is another batch batch of cards left to that I'll be talking about as well. But once we get the get the the TCG exclusives and OCG imports that will be released in Phantom Nightmare, I will talk about them. Talk about those cards as well. But without without any further ado, let's get straight into this video. Kicking things off, we got We've got Aroma Lilith Rosalina, which is a one-star dark plant tuner with zero attack and defense, and both of its effects are a once per turn. Which the first effect says says as a quick effect, you can you can discard this card, then target one aroma monster you control, gain life points equal to half its attack. I mean it's not bad. I mean the aroma cards, like the only card that the only card out of the whole archetype that was like really good was like Aroma Jar. But that was used in like in, in like so many different like plant-based like synchro decks in, in in the like back in the day. Nowadays you really don't see see a Roman jar that often anymore. Unless if it was like in, in like maybe Edison format at like YCS and whatnot. I think that's that's like the only time you, you ever see it. Then again, I think a Roman jar was like a Arc 5 release. I don't remember. I, I don't know. It's been it's been quite some time, but but yeah, I mean you I mean you gain life points, it's not much, it's not a whole lot of life points, but at least it just ensures that you don't lose lose the game. 
I mean, it's something. The second, <laughs> the second effect. <sighs> Excuse me. The second effect reads, reads, if this card is normal or special summon, you can special summon one aroma non-tuner from your deck, and you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn except plants. Okay, so again, so again, again, plant-based synchro decks. This is exactly what I was talking about. I mean, I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. It gives you access to. It get, this card is is essentially like a one card like synchro summon. It can help you go into, you know, like um, into the gar uh, garden rose maiden or garden rose flora or 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 something like that, and then just combo off from there, and then, and then just end on like, end on like like what black like black rose dragon. Like, like what, Black Rose Dragon, Appaloosa, turn one, perhaps? I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad, but it just it just takes a, a, a little time for you to go into your, um, into your, um, your, what you call it? Hmm. Um, into your Appaloosa, or, or even your Underworld Goddess, if you're going second, if you will. So, it's not bad. It's not what? It's not bad. Next up, we have... Aroma Lilith Magnolia, which is an eight-star dark plant fusion with tw with twenty-six hundred attack, eighteen hundred defense, and requires one aroma monster and a plant monster. So, funny enough, Black Rose could benefit from this archetype. Funny enough, um, so and funny thing as well, this can also if if you're playing against the right deck, this card can also be a super poly target, which is actually pretty cool. And it has three separate effects. The first effect says, while while your life points are higher than your opponent's, plant monsters you control cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Second effect reads, once per turn you can pay 2,000 life points, banish cards on the field equal to the total number of humid winds, dry winds, and blessed winds you, you control. The third effect says, once per turn, if you gain life points, even during the damage step, you can make all plant monsters you control you currently control gain an equal amount of attack until the end of the turn. So this is essentially like... I wouldn't say it's your win con, but it's more like your extender, if you will. So so, so, what, so what's pretty cool... So what's cool about this is that... So what, what's pretty cool about, about this is that this is essentially your ex your combo extender if you will where not where not only are you able to banish cards that your opponent has but it also gives you access to to go deeper in in into your board and if you're able to to essentially pick cards out of your opponent's hand you can basically work around their Nibiru if they have it in, in their hand. So this card can actually j just ensure that. So that's not bad. I, I gotta admit, that's a pretty a, a pretty decent card. But again, as, as I said before, against the right deck, this card can also be a super poly target. But what's even more crazy is that you can also use as well a card like DNA Surgery on your opponent and it essentially becomes a floodgate, which is absolutely insane. And then, and then you can activate activate Super Poly, target one of your Aroma monsters, and let's say, and let's and, and one of your, one of your opponent's monsters, which is now known known as a, which would then be known as a plant, and you can summon this card right off the bat, which is absolutely insane. Next up, we have Aroma Lilith Rosemary, which is a dark plant link three, with twenty two hundred attack, and its arrows are bottom left, bottom bottom right. And requires two or more plant monsters, uh, and all three of its effects are once per turn. The first effect says, "says if if this card is special summon, you can add one aroma card from your deck to your hand." It this is basically your rota. This is a, a, th this is essentially your rota for the whole deck. No said, no said. If you ever see, if you ever see that type type of effect, you know damn well it's going to be a good ass card. And judging by its other two effects, I don't think it'll. I don't think this card is any different. 
Because the second effect says, if you gain life points, even during the damage stab, you can you can special summon up to three aroma monsters from, from your hand to your zone this card points to. Basically, it's Sar, it's it's basically Saruja, but even better, if you will. And the third effect says, you can tribute one monster this card points to, target one card of the field, banish it, and if you do, gain a thousand life points. That's actually not bad. Being able to just just automatically extend into your into your into your your excuse me into your black rose dragon and then if you use its effect and you banish all the cards on and you send all the cards on the field to the graveyard then you know and and if your if your monsters have have effects that that, that can be triggered in in the graveyard you can just you can just automatically extend into another black into another black rose dragon and then just end on end on black rose Appaloosa and and Axis Kotaka turn one, you know, you know, especially if you're not, not turn one, turn two. If you're if, if if you're going second, this card is basically your extender, if you will, is another one is another one of your combo extenders, which is absolutely insane. I believe there are only two more cards to talk about in in this video. Let's see, we got one, two, yeah. So there are only two more cards left to talk about in today's video, but the but but. Here's the first one, Aroma Blend, which is a normal spell, and both of its effects are once per turn, and the effect and the first effect reads, discard one card, place one, hu one Human Winds, Dry Winds, or Bless Winds from your hand or deck face up in your spell and trap zone. So, basic, so with this effect, you're basically able to just automatically activate one of these three cards right off the bat, and you put it face up, and its effects would, would, would be active. So... In a way, I think Blessed Winds is one is like is like the floodgate for the whole deck, if, if if you will. I think it is. I don't remember. The second effect says you can banish this card from your grave, fusion summon one plant fusion from your extra deck by banishing materials mentioned on it from your hand and or field. If your life forms are higher than, than than your opponents, you can also use plant monsters in your grave as material by banishing them. Again, again, this card ba is basically your poly for the whole for the whole deck. And it helps you go into, 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 the, into the new fusion, which is, which is Magnolia, which Magnolia is pretty, is pretty good. But as I said, it can also be a super poly target, which is absolutely insane. And then the, and then the final card is known as Aroma Healing, which is a normal trap and both, and it says that you can use either the first or second effect of this card's name once per turn. So it's one or the other. You can't do both. The first effect says gain gain a thousand life points for each aroma monster with different names you control. Second effect says you can banish this card from, from your grave, target one aroma monster in your grave and special summon it, but banish it when it leaves the field, then gain 500 life points. Honestly, both of these effects are not bad. They're, they're not bad. If you if you're down to like a thousand or 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 less life points, and you have a bunch of aroma monsters in your in your on on your board, you can essentially just re regain almost all almost all of your life points, which is absolutely insane. But not but not only that, not only that, this card also can act as a monster reborn. But you but but <laughs> but with an added effect as where you gain gain the five hundred life points. So that's not bad. That's not bad. I gotta admit, that's pretty good, but let's be real here. The Aroma cards, the Aroma uh, archetype, it's not that good. It's it's not that good, and it's a bit too conditional, and it gets to a point where you can easily break. So that's why people prefer prefer to play play the Aroma cards in plant-based decks like like Black Rose of, of, of the like. It's because... Is because the the aroma cards can be combo extenders, if you will. So that's so again the the these new cards I have to admit are are pretty good, but whether or not we they'll make their way into the meta, only time will tell. But that will do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. If you guys are new to the channel and you guys want more card discussions in the future. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, and follow me on all of my social media. My ads will be in the description below. 
as will the info to my fan mail. It'll also be in the description as well. And on that, this is your boy Nash, signing out.